Men, after every shave, you need new Ice Blue Aqua Velva. The aftershave lotion that's better for your skin. Aqua Velva cools away razor burn, soothes irritated skin, contains humectin. <laughs> humectin? What the hell is humectin? It's a skin conditioner that puts back skin moisture. Get new Ice Blue Aqua Velva in this handsome, <laughs> handsome decanter bottle. You'll love its clean, manly scent. You'll hear them say, There's something about an Aqua Velva man. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now I'm stinking up the world. I never wear this. Sh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Originally introduced in 1917 by the JB Williams Company, Aqua Velva became an inexpensive aftershave during the 20th century. It was reported, whoa, that's strong. Whoo! It really is. It was reportedly consumed by sailors during the Second World War because of its alcohol content. And well, booze was sometimes hard to come by on the high seas. What? <laughs> no sniffing glue? <laughs> Pass the aqua velva, man. Yeah. <laughs> now it's not known where or when someone decided to create the aqua velva cocktail, but it was probably invented sometime in the 1980s, maybe by a sailor. Who knows? And then there was Zodiac, the 2007 mystery thriller movie that tracks the story of a serial killer who left dead bodies up and down California in the 1960s and possibly in the 70s. In the movie, the Aqua Velva cocktail is the character Robert Graysmith's favorite drink. And of course, the cocktail gained popularity again after it was featured in that movie. Load it with booze, this electric aqua blue colored drink is citrusy and can easily put you on your ass. <laughs> Let's make one, yeah. So this cocktail was a viewer request. Actually, two viewers. <laughs> it's kind of weird, eh? What we want to do is grab some vodka and we want one and a quarter ounces. Gin, one and a quarter ounces. Blue Curacao, three quarter ounce. Ooh, look at that electric color, yeah. All right, grab some ice. <laughs> Pop her in her shaker and shake it. <laughs> shake it blue. Shake it like you're at the disco. Oh, just go, just go down. <laughs> you want to shake a good little while because you want to dilute all that. Because all we got going on here is booze. Okay. So I've got a hurricane glass full of fresh ice. And what we want to do now is just strain it out. Oh, yeah. Leave some room at the top because we want to top it with some lemon lime soda, Sprite or 7-Up. And garnish, well, we're gonna garnish with a, a little flag of orange and cherry, a straw, an umbrella, <laughs> and you know, way back in the 80s, I remember, <laughs> we had glow sticks. <laughs> And everybody be on their dance floor. Oh, look at that baby. <laughs> With their aqua velva. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah. Look at that thing of beauty. <laughs> All these guys on the dance floor, girls, and, and just with their aqua velva, and they're dancing up a storm. Mmm. <laughs> That's delicious and potent. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, that smells much better. <laughs> Make an aqua velva cocktail. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -mm. And get to dancing. Man, that is potent. <laughs> It'll get you snookered real fast, let me tell you. Mm. Make an aqua cock. <laughs> Make an aqua well cocktail. Sorry. I'm on Patreon now. Yeah. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to things that nobody else sees. You get bloopers, you get uh, podcasts, newsletters, and sneak peeks. You get a whole whack of stuff that you're gonna love. So become one of my booze hounds and help support the show. This stuff gets expensive and every little bit goes back into the show. Thanks in advance. Whoa, I'm a glowing. <laughs> I wanna thank you so much for the viewers that uh, actually requested I make this. And if there's anything else you want me to make, drop me a line in the comments. And uh, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button right here <laughs> and uh, check out the other videos. In the meantime, I need more glow sticks. <laughs> Get on that dance floor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.